Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about what is research. We will discuss about what are different type of research, what is the meaning of research, what is the purpose of the research and what is the benefit of the research. So research is a systematic inquiry to describe, explain, predict, explore, control the observed phenomena. So research involves inductive as well as deductive methods. So research is basically a systematic approach to learn, describe, explain, predict or control any observed phenomena. It can be hypothetical, it can be real. So what are the major characteristics of the research? Research is based on scientific methods. Research helps in answering various pertinent questions. It is an organized, planned and patient investigation of any scientific issue or critical inquiry. It has logical roots, helping to establish facts or principles based on the assumptions or hypothesis that we might have. So what are the different type of research? Research is in has a wide variety of forms. So we will here discuss about some of the basic forms. So what is basic research? Basic research is mostly connected to enhance knowledge. It covers functional aspect of research. The main motivation of the research is knowledge expansion. It is a non-commercial research and doesn't facilitate in creating or inventing anything. For example, an experiment is a good example of basic research. So in experiment, we basically conduct something and try to find out what is the result. So it is a simple exercise. Another one is applied research. Applied research focus on analyzing, solving real life problems. This, this type of research refers to a study that helps solve practical problems using scientific methods. This research plays an important role in solving issues that are impacting our day-to-day -day life or in the well-being of the human. For example, finding a scientific cure for a disease is a good example of applied research. Because here we are applying our knowledge and skills to finding out the solution of a problem. So there can be a problem oriented research. As the name suggests problem oriented research is conducted to understand the exact nature of the problem to find out relevant solutions. The term problems refers to having issue or two thoughts while making any decision. So problem oriented research will help us in finding a better solution to the existing problem. Another category of the research is qualitative research. Qualitative research is a process that is about inquiry that helps in in-depth understanding of the problems or issues in the natural setting. This is non-statistical research method because here the researchers will rely only on the logical reasonings and assumptions. Another one is qualitative, quantitative research. Quantitative research is a structured way of collecting data and analyzing it to draw conclusions and references about any problem or issue. Unlike qualitative research, this research method uses computational, statistical and similar method to collect and analyze data. Quantitative data is all about numbers. So this is more scientific method of research because here we will have more proven facts and figures which will support our logical reasonings while in the earlier case this was not so another form of research is explanatory research explanatory research is conducted to explore the research questions and may or may not offer a final conclusion to the research conducted it is conducted to handle new problems area which haven't been explored before 
explanatory research lays the foundation for more conclusive research and investigation in future so this type of research lays the foundation where in next researcher can come and explore it in depth another one is descriptive research descriptive research focuses on throwing more light on a current issue through a process of data collection descriptive studies are used to describe the behavior of a sample population in descriptive research only one variable anything that has quantity or quality that varies is required to conduct a study the three main purpose of descriptive research is describing explaining and validating the findings here we can conduct a survey like uh, what is the customer satisfaction then it can be a called explanatory research explanatory research or causal research is conducted to understand the impact of a certain changes in the existing standards procedures conducting experiments in the most popular form of causal research for example research conducted to understand the effect of rebranding on customers loyalty is a good example of explanatory research whether the customers are more satisfied with the changes in the branding or whether they are unsatisfied so to understand the characteristics of research design using research purpose here is a comparative study so prediction in a research predictions is very important predictions are usually stated as hypothesis that is clear on ambiguous statement which can be subjected to scientific verification refutation when the hypothesis are accepted or rejected we are able to make generalization and the theories concerning various situations we are able to say that given these conditions this is likely to happen so this is a very good example of how in our thesis work we try to prove or disprove any existing hypothesis in a particular condition hope you have enjoyed the video thank you for the discussion we will discuss more topics in different lectures in upcoming lectures so now you can subscribe to our youtube channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you can be notified of our next lecture on different topics related to related to different topics that you wish to learn and understand so in comment box you can write the topic on which you want new lectures or new video thank you thank you for watching now you can like the video and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and also click on the bell icon so that you can stay tuned and you get notified on our future